Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Tonight, we're going to talk about men. Are we viable? Are we necessary? Are we needed anymore? Because so many women are saying, I am a strong, independent woman, and I can do it, and, and uh, I can get ahead, and I don't need men, and especially middle-aged men, because they're not hot and attractive, and I don't want to date them and be with them, and I don't need them anymore. And, and believe it or not, I've heard this on a couple different sites, but I have an article here by Janet Street Porter, and we're going to touch on that. But believe it or not, I can counter that with, yes, not only are we necessary, we are definitively, with proof, the backbone of society. And all the social programs such as uh, welfare and health care, they, they need men to make this work, believe it or not. Now, I'm, I'm not going to read through this Daily Mail uh, column. I'll, let me get recording on it so you can see it. Uh, I'm not going to read the, through this article. She's basically talking about uh, Prince Andrew and a wedding and some other stuff. But her whole point was right here, the last sentence, you'll see it right here. But let's be honest, ladies, haven't most middle-aged men outlived their usefulness? And she doesn't get into it too deep. And I did find other articles where the argument is now, hey, women are earning Women are making lots of money. We're successful. We don't need men, except unless we want kids. We can be successful on our own. And that is true. That is true. So have men outlived their usefulness? And the answer is no, we haven't. And again, I've got proof. Now, the article um, and the other articles that came up with was, you know, like I said, kind of the same thing. But that's not what the topic of this whole video is about. Now, this other article I found, which is The New Modern Man, it says the gender tax gap Men pay 200% of the taxes women do. And I was going to read this one, but I realized it's written by a guy, a Mr. Relampago Furioso. And I don't want to read an article by a guy because I'm a guy and I give my guy opinions. I want to read an article by women. And a lot of times when I read an article by women and give my opinions on it, and, and sometimes when I agree, other people like to get mad and say, oh, well, uh, I, I, you just sound like you hate women and, and uh, I don't like your opinion. And I can always come back and say, it's not my opinion. It's the article writer's opinion and I'm just, I'm just agreeing with it. So we always have to read an article from a woman. But is it not a problem that the woman have a smaller brain than a man? <laughs> so this is from Femoid. From Femoid. And the, uh, the writer of this article is a, a Ms. Bloomfield. It's a uh, Janet Bloomfield. And she had to retire because she was getting threats against her children. And she's graciously, graciously allowed us to republish some of her now vanished articles. Yeah, no one liked some of these studies, the story that she wrote about the study. And I have the link of the study down below. It's a PDF. You can get really deep into it. I haven't. I've only grazed it. But the whole point is that men pay more in taxes into the system and women take more out of the system in taxes. And so without men putting in this extra money into the tax system, society and all of its programs would fall apart. So not only are we necessary or not only are we needed, we're like necessary. And we've got some data to prove this. And I always like, one of the things I like about this is, is it's one thing when, when you read an article where somebody says, ah, middle-aged men aren't even necessary or men aren't necessary. Instead of getting upset, instead of uh, maybe having an argument about it, this is just another feather in your cap, another arrow in your quiver to say, well, there's the tax gap. Of course, you know about that. And when then they don't, you can explain this to them. Or you can just tuck this in the back of your head knowing, well, I am necessary and the world would fall apart without men. Man, you can just, just knowing that will put you to bed at night a lot easier when people start to give you crap. She says, uh, it's true. Only men pay tax. A study from New Zealand shows fairly definitively that we women as a group don't pay any taxes. And here's the study over here, the distribution of income, fiscal incidence by age and gender, some evidence from New Zealand. Now, I don't know New Zealand's social programs, but I was over in New Zealand and it seemed pr pretty similar to other areas of the world. She says, sure, we file tax documents and have taxes deducted from our paychecks and pay out consumer taxes at the cash register just like men do. But in the final tally, uh, well, look at this. And they show here direct uh, tax per capita by age, group, and gender. And you can see here that the little red stuff are women. And this is paying in. 
and then you see the blue line up here which is the men paying in now why can this be number one women may have part-time jobs if they're mothers they they there's lots of different reasons and i won't drill down too far into it yes they may make a little less they may not work overtime because they have to spend time with their families it's not a bad thing just the point is men do pay a lot more taxes and this is from 2010 so obviously now the women may be much closer to the men as far as income because a lot has changed in the last 10 years so i'm not going to pretend like this is all current data there may be some differences here and women now that they're working at a higher rate and graduating at a higher rate they may be paying in a lot more money so maybe this is even closer however the next figure here you see is net fiscal impact per capita by gender and age group 2010 and you can see women are only a positive impact from the ages of roughly uh, 45 to about 60. So those 15 years is when they're, and you can see here, when they're paying in and the rest of the time they're paying out. And you can see both men and women really become a drain on the system after the age of 65 because of retirement. And so they're getting back their social security or what they've paid into whatever countries, um, I guess you could say retirement funds are. But men just drastically out earn women year by year by year, putting it into the system. And here they say the cumulative net fiscal impact per capita. And here you can see that women from the, from the time that they began at zero all the way up to 80 are, negative, are, are never a positive uh, deposit or a, a positive input into the system because they of their the different health care and different child services and different things like that they require a lot more money out of the system and here you can see men put in more now has this changed again 10 years later it may have but until they do another study and do look into it deeper it's really hard to say you know when you take a, a mother who finds a a guy she decides to hook up with him she decides to have a kid with him and then she decides, I don't want to be married anymore, or I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. And she shuttles him off. He may pay her, he may pay her um, child support, but it may not be enough, especially if she needs to have a, uh, if she works a job and she needs to have a babysitter or a um, childcare service or things like that. Plus, she can get health care for her child from the government. She can get uh, usually food subsidies and homing st uh, home subsidies from the government. Well, this is big daddy government. That's your taxes at work. And it's men that have paid into the system and the women taking this back out for themselves. It's one of the problems that when we say, oh, you know, uh, the, the dad of these kids is, is an ex paying child support and daddy government. These are the statistics from daddy government. How, again, how much it's changed, I don't know. So they say gross paid, uh, gross tax paid plus benefits claimed equals net taxes paid. Let me explain. If you out, if you pay out, say one hundred dollars every paycheck to the IRS, but every month you claim two hundred dollars in benefits, you have not paid a single penny in tax. In fact, you have claimed twice what you have paid. You're up one hundred dollars, and the rest of the taxpayers are footing your bill. It's curious that the data from New Zealand doesn't seem to mind sharing. Uh, it's curious that the data New Zealand doesn't seem to mind sharing is very difficult to acquire in the US. How much money in taxes do men pay versus women? How much money is claimed every month in benefits by men versus women? What's the net difference? We begin with, we begin with cue the ominous music, the wage gap. The US tax system is progressive, meaning the more you make, the more, you, uh, the more tax you pay. If men make up, if men make more money than women, they must pay more tax by definition. There can be no argument that men pay more gro uh, in gross tax than women. If you tally up at the end of the year all the pennies men have given to the government and compare it to all those pennies women gave, men paid more on that measure alone. And again, I'd like to see this study redone because I'd be interested to see if this gap is is coming closer together. But as it stands right now, and as she says, it's very difficult to get this information from the United States, uh, probably because it doesn't put women, if they go back to 2010, in, in the greatest light. It's not to say they're bad, but they do take more out of the system than they put in. But they say, uh, this is an incomplete measure. We need to know how much money men are withdrawing from the government coffers compared to women. But let's not include salaries, since a salary is, uh, in theory, a trade-off for vital services performed. Let's only consider payouts within the social safety net. In other words, uh, like, like I'll even say it, like uh, salary, salary for military members. Those men are, are doing a service for the country. 
for, excuse me, they're doing a service for the country. So that doesn't count as a, as a draw because they're working for the government. So that's not, and they pay taxes on those incomes that the government's paying them. How ironic that you get paid by the government and then they shave off a percentage of what the government just gave you and you go, here you go, let me give you this back because taxes. They say, of course, women live longer than men and thus draw more in social security benefits. Healthcare, we know that men don't access healthcare at the same rates as women because masculinity is toxic and men prefer to benefit themselves systematically by directing healthcare dollars to women. And thus we can't reasonably presume that women are withdrawing more in healthcare dollars than men. Well, men oftentimes put off healthcare, which is another reason why women tend to live longer is because something goes wrong and, and you know women go for for mammograms they go for uh they go to the OBGYN, they go in for a lot of different things guys are like yeah if it's not broken don't bother so a lot of times we wait too long on a lot of our problems men take the majority of government money in the form of agriculture subsidies and veterans benefits in every other major spending category women are the primary beneficiaries women pay less in tax than men pay while withdrawing significantly more in benefits and the agriculture subsidies uh, are from farmers who are mostly men, but those subsidies also work their way to the price of food eventually. And that last I checked, men, women and men both buy food, buy, buy food. So, and the others veterans benefits. But again, these are men that served their country uh, in the military. And if they have a problem, they should be covered by this. So I don't know if I'd call that a draw because the only people that are drawing off that are people that worked for the government doing government work. But if you even still count those two in all other categories, women are withdrawing significantly more in benefits. Ergo, we don't really pay any tax. We contribute to a system and then withdraw far more. All of it meaning, of course, that men, all men, support women, all women. Whether they like it or not, when, when libertarian learning pundits quip that, that taxation is theft, they're missing a piece of the puzzle. Taxation may be theft, but more accurately, it's theft for our benefit. The government steals money from men and gives it to women. So I thought this was a really interesting article and I wanted to kind of zip through this because when women say, and, and I'll, I'll put these links down below, when women say, hey, you know what? We don't need men anymore. We don't, we don't need men. Well, if I'm taxed, even if we were taxed at the same rate, in other words, if I make 100 grand a year or 50 grand a year or 30 grand or whatever number you take, even if men and women make the same amount, men pay in much, much more than they take out of the system because we don't need a lot of, because men don't oftentimes win custody of children. As a matter of fact, they lose more than, I think it's now 85% of the time men lose custody battles. When men lose custody battles, they don't get the kids. They don't get to, they don't get to, um, need those benefits for the children because the children aren't in their care. The women have them. Now you could say maybe that throws things off a little bit, but hey, it's still the, the point that men are not drawing it out. Women are, and the kids are as well. So men don't need it for doctors. They don't need it for uh, many different causes, but they still pay in. And you know, I can tell you now as a 47 year old, I have gone in for in my life, other than stitches and broken bones, because I was an active guy. Um, other than that, I've got, I've maybe, I've, I've never paid it. I've never gotten anything from the government ever. I don't, I, I, almost 50 years old. I can honestly say I've never gotten a dime for the government. Now that, that may not be the case for all men. But again, if you think back as, in, in your history as a guy, how many times did you say, oh yeah, I took something for government. And it, it, it's, I think it's also crucial because a lot of times since there aren't many programs for men, when a man runs out of, of issues or when a man runs out of help, when he runs out of funds, when he runs out of support, he becomes homeless. Where the, the vast number, there's a vastly smaller number of women that are homeless. 75% of homeless are men and the 25% are women. So even there, there are more programs to get women off the streets. There are more programs for women in that way. And that's just another drain out of, out of men's taxes that, that women may pay, but again, they turn out to be a net negative. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. As always, if you have, thank you very much. And the best way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my older videos. They're fun as well. And join me over on betterbachelors.locals.com if you'd like to 
jump in the in the forums and have a conversation and you can support me there for three dollars a month guys i'll leave it there this is better bachelor i'm joker and remember we all pay taxes but without men paying into the system since we take so so less programs it leaves a lot of the money left over for women mm -hmm.